What's up? Welcome back to the channel. For the rest of this video, I'll be filming it on my GoPro Hero 5 Black, which I have sitting right here. Figured I'd give that a shot. It'd be good for future videos. I want to give that a shot and I'll either be wearing the head mount or using the kind of selfie stick like thing. And then I'm not really sure what the whole goal of this video is going to be. Just kind of working on the Explorer, seeing if I can figure out anything wrong with it. Take it on a test drive probably, but going to change out the fog light right here since the housing's missing. Well, not the housing, the cover. Going to change out the entire housing. Took this one off a junkyard car, paid like six bucks for it. So we'll see how that goes. All right, I'm on the GoPro now. Snow's starting to finally thaw out. So I got to move the Explorer out of the driveway. And you can see right here, I had some stuff where I was just trying to get it running. Got a little jump pack in case I need it, so will she start? My guess is no. You know, gotta give it a shot. Genuinely surprised by that, but I will take it. So I'll move that out of the driveway real quick and then I'll turn the camera back on. back in my spot on the street so this is a job done from the underside I've had to replace the driver's side before uh, lens is off of here as well so I just replaced the housing I got that one from a scrapyard as well so now I'm gonna have two scrapyard fog light housings in my car which I don't really have a problem with I can see the water leaking off because all the snow is melting on top but I've done this before you see the one I took from the junkyard the connectors they broke a little bit but I mean as long as they'll hold it doesn't really matter to me this isn't gonna be a professional job by any means might not even be properly secured completely but as long as it holds I'll take it I just want some sort of covering here because I don't want the bulb to bust out all right we're on the underside right here right here is where you can see the housing goes in so I'm gonna take out the bulb real quick kind of always a fun process down here never get it first try but I think this part, yeah, right here comes out and then the bulb just twists out and pops out like that. So yeah, here it is. I bought Alla LEDs, I think it was September of 2019. So it's been over a year and a half now and so far they've been great. Came with a year warranty. Fortunately, I never had to use it, but these things are super bright, probably just as bright as my headlights. So highly recommend if you need them. Now on to getting the housing out. Now these little clips right here, right here and right here. I remember them being a pain to get off. I believe there's a Phillips head screw inside of there. I can't really see it. Maybe you can see it on the camera. But I'm gonna try to see if I can get anything off there. And then if not, I'm just gonna break them. Cause like I said, this isn't gonna be anything professional. If you're looking for a guide here, this probably isn't your most efficient way of doing it. But that's how I'm gonna do it because yeah, it's just the easiest way, honestly. All right, I'm up here right now, just kind of jamming the screwdriver in and out of these holes. Just trying to snap off these little plastic tabs right here. Kind of getting some progress here. Gotta use a bit of force, but they do come off, so. Gonna use that, you can see the housing's already more loose than it was before. So I'm just gonna get the other two. One up here, one down there, and then I believe that's it. If not, I'll keep you updated. All right, it's been about two minutes since I last recorded. I got the tab off up there, tab off right here, and the one right here, let's see if it goes through. Oh, this, this little bit's still holding it on. Just gonna twist it off and there she is fell right out so and you can see we have a gaping hole where the fog light should be so I'd say it worked I mean we got one out the other over here so pop over on the other side see how that one's in I don't remember if I actually used the original fasteners like these ones but it's worth a shot checking all right, I'm on the driver's side right here. I guess I did use the original kind of push through tabs right there. I don't remember how I got them to stay on from the other one, but we'll see how that one stays on. There you can see my horn. That's the horn that I took off of the 2006 Grand Caravan that I was telling you about. So uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. I like looking around underneath for anyone who's curious to see what it looks like underneath here. It's all muddy because I, I guess I never did thoroughly clean it after I went off-roading last, but here she is. So after screwing around with them, I found out that you can screw these tabs in and out. That must have been how I got them on the other one. This one's broken right here, but we got this one and this one. So we'll see if that's enough to actually hold it. And if not, I'll have to improvise. One of the rules I've always told myself working on cars, never assume that any job will be easy because you can see that this screw came out perfectly. This one came out perfectly. 
and this one is about as stripped as it gets so I'm either gonna have to pry that rubber knob off or I'm gonna get a screwdriver and drill right through it so I'm thinking I'll just pry it off you know what two will hold it on fine a little bit of prying with my handy dandy pliers right here was able to get that little knob off so I might try to pop that back onto the screw just to have it you can see that that screw is just there's there's nothing saving from that so it's just completely obliterated but now I'm going to take the housing gonna gonna pop it right in here find the screw holes on the other side get it secured and it should be good to go that thing's looking more clear than my headlights honestly I gotta polish those up again but once it's in it'll look nice all right so I put the GoPro on my head right now I have did that so I can have both of my hands free I don't know if this is even a good camera angle, but we will find out. I'm gonna hop underneath right now. I don't think this rubber knob's gonna be usable. Kinda have it in position right now, but in order to get this position right, I wasn't able to use both of my hands, or I needed both of my hands, sorry. So I'm gonna hop underneath of there. I don't know about the sun glare, but there's a good chance it'll be way too bright, but we will see. All right, so trying to find it on the other side here. It's a firm trying. Yep, I definitely just found it. It's threading onto something right there, so. There's one connector on. Gonna feel around for the second one up here. I think that's it. Once again, it is a firm, I think. Nope, definitely not it. Second time's the charm. Go. Ah! On my screwdriver up here, I'm just tightening it up a little bit more. At least the bottom one, the washer fluid tank's kind of in the way for the top one. I don't have a smaller screwdriver on hand and I don't feel like getting one. But you can see that's pretty securely in there from where I'm wiggling my fingers. It's not coming out, so let's get the bulb, reinstall it, and test it out. So we got the bulb again. Same deal as undoing it, just the opposite. Put it in, push it, and twist it until it locks in. Let's take the socket connector right here, clip it back on, and let's go test to make sure it works. Alright, so that is definitely a much cleaner look. It does look like it's sitting a little bit low, but it is pretty secure in there, so for only having two connectors and not even properly installed, I'll take it. Let's hop around front. Start up the engine and see if it'll turn on. Headlights on, fog lights on. Let's go around and check. Nice and bright like before. Crystal clear at the new housing. Engine's running really loud, but that's that's normal. Uh, let's test it real quick. I'm gonna turn off the headlights. I don't want to go making any further diagnostics. I'll probably take this on a test drive probably do that later today or tomorrow or whenever I have the time but for now I don't know I don't really have too many diagnostics to draw here I'm not fantastic with electronics when it comes to cars that's something I definitely need to get better with because this thing is riddled with electronic issues I'm hoping that my tax returns will come through sometime soon because they're due any day now I filed them a while back and I'm still waiting on my money to come back but once they go through I will be buying a new code reader so hopefully that'll be able to actually Help me get some more diagnostics out of here. We'll see what I can do. But I kind of have a cool announcement, so I figured I'd make that here as well. There is one truck in particular that I've had my eyes on since I was a little kid, and that is my grandfather's 1998 Dodge Ram. It is a short bed, single cab, four wheel drive, V8 powered little pickup truck. Not little, full size, but on the smaller end because short bed, single cab, obviously. However, he has since gotten a vehicle to replace that truck that he's been driving for so long so he doesn't have a use for it anymore. Because of that and the fact that my family would use a truck often for hauling and towing purposes, my dad put the offer on the table for him to buy it off of my grandfather for us to have it as the family truck, and my grandfather said he'd be okay with that as long as we were the ones to pick it up. So on March 13th, I will be flying out to Colorado. We'll be picking up the truck. I'll be spending some time with the family, going out to visit a friend from high school, just taking the truck around, driving it around, and then we'll be driving it all the way back here to Maryland. So I'm pretty excited about that. It's gonna be a lot of fun time. I'm gonna spend some time with my dad, spend some time with the family and friends. 
Can't really go wrong with it. Hoping to make a good road trip out of it. Hoping that all goes smoothly, but I just figured I'd make you all aware of the announcement. Should be pretty exciting. But on that note, I'm just going to wrap up this video. Not too much happened. Got the fog light replaced, so call it a victory in the end. Going to take the Explorer around on a test drive. If I do, I might include that footage in this video, depending on when it happens. If I did, it'll already have been put into the video before this, or I'll do it after. We'll see. Just stay tuned. Thank you for watching. All right, taking the Explorer on a test drive. Start her up. All right, let's see how she does. This is my first time actually taking her out onto the real road since it died back in February. So I'm gonna hope she does well, because I mean, why wouldn't I? About two and a half miles of driving, no issues yet. So gonna hope that continues. Well, I'm here at my destination. I mean, nothing really changed. It ran much more fine than I was expecting for something that died on me last time I drove it. But I mean, yeah, engine heated up, fuel's still halfway. I mean, it's gonna run now, fine. That, that's cool, just don't throw any more problems on me, please. Thanks, buddy. All right, I finished my run. I'm now headed back home, which is about nine, eight, nine miles from where I am right now. Let's see how the Explorer does on the way back. She did fine here. I'm hoping she does the same on the way back. All right, well, I'm about to pull up to my house, so this will wrap up this video. The Explorer seemed to do fine. 